Mom. Hi, guys. Hi. Okay. I think Mr. Mike has a scavenger hunt for you while we're waiting for some others to join us. So hopefully answering mine, but I'm gonna, for the scavenger hunt, I'm going to ask you guys to collect some objects for me, okay? And you guys need to show, you bring it back to the camera as fast as you can um, in order to win a point, okay? Be careful. Make sure you guys don't run into things, okay? So I want you guys to do this safely. So the first thing I want you guys to bring me is, can you give me something orange? Some of you might have a pillow or a book or a pen or something in your house that you know is orange. An orange, an orange, an oh, orange pop. Oh, I'm not sure who. Do you know who won that, guys? Can you help me out, Colleen or Ruthann? I kind of think Gabby and Quinn got there first. Yeah. I think Gabby and Quinn. Okay, one point for you guys. Good job. Okay, well, good job, Justin. I saw that as well. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Quinn. Yeah. This, this might be something that will be easier for Justin. But can someone find me a spatula? You guys know what a spatula is? Oh, no fair. Justin's in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, Justin's gone. Oh, he's. Anyone else? Okay, Quinn. I think Gabby or Quinn's gone. <laughs> Lily and Colin aren't even bothering. <laughs> oh, oh, they oh. won again. Yeah, what else? Just, I think Justin may have may have pipped them. He's in the back there. I saw it, but we'll say Gabby and Quinn because she came back quicker. Nice job. Man, Lisa. they're fast, Justin. They are Crazy. fast. Did you? Do you guys have you guys seen my list? <laughs> okay, so the next object is going to be a ball. Any kind of ball it can be a small ball. It can be. Uh, American football can be a soccer ball. Whoa, what? is that a ball? What is that? Oh, Justin, you may as well give a... <laughs> wow, Look at Gabby those girls. Quinn. Again, you guys definitely have seen my list. Okay, the next object is going to be an okay. apple. Do you guys have an apple around? Or we'll say, yeah, Justin's gone. <laughs> rooting for Justin this time. He's come so close. Would applesauce count if no one has an apple? I guess oh, so. Lily's got one. Lily and Colin. Oh, good job, guys. You stopped Gabby and Quinn's streak. <laughs> okay. The next object I'm going to find is a comb. So something you use to comb your hair with. Do you, you even call me your hair, you guys? One. Yeah, maybe your parents might have one. You might have to <laughs> <laughs> go annoy them for a comb. <laughs> does a brush count or does it need to be a comb? A brush counts. We'll say a brush, sure. Because we definitely have Gabby and Quinn have a brush. Luke. Hey, Luke. Right now we're doing a scavenger hunt. So do you want to join? Let's okay. see what you got, Justin. Yeah. Quick. Brush. Yeah. And another brush. No, oh, good job, guys. But that Gabby and Quinn, man, they are like trouble are, today. I think I think they have a camera. I think they can see my list somehow. Next object I need you guys to get is a toothbrush. Can you guys give me a toothbrush? It can be anyone's toothbrush. It doesn't have to be yours. Go, go, go. <laughs> what? Oh. Gabby and Quinn again. <laughs> Did you like have one right there? <laughs> I feel so sorry for Justin. I keep seeing this bear. I think we should give Justin a bonus point. I, I want to give Justin points. He's doing so well. He's going to get, he's gonna, I'm going to give Justin two points. Yay, Justin! Great job, Justin. So Gabby and Quinn also got a point there. Oh, oh Luke's back. back. Luke's Stop. back. Good going, but someone beat you, Luke. Good job, Luke. That's, so that's how you're <laughs> doing well. Okay, so it might be a bit harder, but do you, can you guys get me a flower? It can be real flower, it can be a fake flower. Don't get too many. I don't want I don't want any angry parents <laughs> when they pull out a whole plant. <laughs> <laughs> they run outside, weed the garden. <laughs> oh, oh good job. he's got an orchid. He's got an orchid. Good. Nice. And it's not been mutilated. Good job. Good. And Justin's a got plant, one. Justin? Ah, uh, nice job, Justin. Good work. Hmm. Okay. Next object is going to be, can you guys get me a pencil? Oh, Gabby and Quinn. Oh, wow. Gabby that and was Quinn. Quick. You guys had a pencil there ready. 
you have one there, Justin? Good job, Luke. Oh, he's pointing oh, he, to he it in pointed, the caddy. He pointed. Okay, we'll give you guys a point for that. All right, all right. Well done, guys. Okay, and the next object is going to be a Bible. Who can get me a Bible? I hope you guys have a Bible at home. I'd be worried if you didn't. Ta-da! <laughs> Justin! Justin! Oh, Justin comes Tetsum. Gavi and Quinn. And then we've got wow. Lily and Colin. Did you get one? No. Okay, and then Gabby and Quinn. Good job. I should do points for first, second, and third next time. <laughs> okay, so is Luke? <laughs> Luke's still gone. He's still getting his. There he is. Good <laughs> job, buddy. Thanks. Oh, you've got Good the action word. Bible. Cool. The action Bible. There you go. Okay, so the next object is going to be a cup. You're going to have a cup? <laughs> like a, hopefully not a glass. Whoa, Gabby and Quinn. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Good job, Luke. Justin and Luke. And Justin got one as well, Luke. Good job. Okay, Do the you next have one? one's no. going to be a TV remote. Oh, Justin! Justin! Justin. Nice oh, job. Then we've got Colin, then Luke. Then Colin, then Luke. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Almost got me and Quinn there. It's okay, guys. We Did they beat you to it? Aww. <laughs> okay, the next object is going to be a water bottle. Can someone get me a water bottle? Oh, at the same time. Luke and Justin, high. then came Lily and Colin. Yeah, then Lily and Colin. Thanks for that, Colleen. Great job. I know, Gabby and Quinn, you guys look nervous. <laughs> you guys are still winning, I think. Don't worry. Okay, the next one. I was going to say headphones. But Luke is currently wearing some, <laughs> so that would be a bit too easy. Um, so the next one, guys, is going to be a toilet roll. Can someone give me some toilet roll? Preferably clean. I don't want any used stuff. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, Quinn, that's terrible, isn't it? Is that nice oh, job. That's Luke. Luke. And then fresh the from Colin. fresh from the new from the nearest bathroom. Okay. <laughs> well, now we got Gabby and Quinn. And Gabby and Quinn, okay. Great job, guys. You guys all get a point there, but Luke was first there, I think. And Glip followed closely by Lily and Colin. Okay. Justin's still getting his. <laughs> it's like, well done, Justin. Did you manage to get any? It's okay. The next object we'll go for is can someone get me a paper towel this time? Maybe from your kitchen. You guys have some? Oh, Luke's gone. Gabby and Quinn's gone. Who's next? Oh, we got Gabby oh, and Quinn. I saw we that, got Justin. Justin back there. I think Justin may have hit that one, I think. Oh, and here comes Luke. And then Luke. Good job, guys. Okay, so the next one is going to be, can you get me some soap? Some, like, hand soap that you use in the bathroom? Oh, there they are. Oh, they got it. Gabby and Quinn. Well, oh, then Justin Gab Luke. Oh, then oh they all caught one pretty was, quick. That was quick, though, guys. Good job. I think Gabby and Quinn just hit that one again. I'm glad to know there's lots of soap around in these houses because yeah, clean so hands, mine. clean yeah. hands are good. Exactly. All right. I have a feeling that you're making us gather items to I do know. something. <laughs> maybe, or maybe I'm just trying to create a mess for your parents to clean up. <laughs> the maybe next... the last part is. Mm -hmm. Maybe the last part should be go and put everything away. <laughs> okay, well, I'm, yeah. I'm a, a couple more <laughs> objects. Okay, so guys, the next object when you get me, your parents might have this, a mask. I need a mask. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice, the red mask. That's cool. Nice job, Luke. That's a cool mask, though, guys. Is that your mom's? Is it your mask? Yeah, you guys are muted, so I can't actually oh, hear Oh, Justin's you. got one. Job, Colin's Colin. got his. That's a cool one, Colin. Yo, I think who won that one? I think Luke won that one, didn't he? Yeah, but yeah. good job, guys. The next one, can you guys give me a clock? Uh, a watch or huh? something I can tell the time? Oh. iPad, I'm going to give him. There huh? we go. Gabby and Quinn. Quinn's got it right off the wall. <laughs> I'm going to make you guys take apart your house. This is great. <laughs> oh, does this one count, Mike? I like that. That's really creative. Any luck, Adele? Oh, oh, going right off the mantle, job, Justin. Justin, okay. it looks nice. Okay, a couple more. Hopefully three more. I'm trying to think of another one. Um, can you guys find me 
a charger for a phone. I'm sure you have plenty lying around. This is getting desperate. Phone charger. I've got one. Oh, Good Justin. job. That's Justin. Oh, and then Gabby and Quinn. Good work. Good work, Justin. That's awesome stuff. And then Luke and Colin are away. So I think Justin won that one. Okay. And then last two object guys. I would like, a, I need a towel. Is it a towel? A towel. Adele. You know, towel. like after, after you have a bath. Sorry, it's probably Or you wash accent. your hands. Oh, nice oh, job, Justin. Justin. Oh, Luke. and then Luke. Oh, and then Lily and Colin. Oh, that was very close, guys. Oh, good job. I think that was oh, Justin. Oh, thanks, Colin. We got your charger. And then they got the charger as well. Good job, guys. You got, you got two towels. You got three towels, Gabby. I only needed one, but thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Okay. Last object, guys. Okay. Last one. I want any crap from any of the weeks we've done. Any crap. The boat, the eagle. Hopefully, we haven't chucked away. Oh, Lily and oh, Colin. Lily and Colin, right there. Oh, nice. here comes Luke. Oh, looks great, Luke. Luke, that's your handprint. Let's have a look. This is my sister's. Is that your you sister's? Still mine? counts? No, still that's counts? okay. You don't have to, but okay, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Oh, there's Luke's. Beautiful. Yeah. Like dry really nicely. Yeah, that's a good job. My sister only has three jewels on hers because she saved the oh, rest for her boat. own crafts. That's I think okay. we have a boat. I think we've covered them all. That, that is all of them. The lily and column. We one. have a broken <laughs> one. And a broken one. A broken one. Here's part of the boat. Good job. Okay, so I think in third place we have uh, lily and Colin. Well done. A little applause, guys. Give a round of applause for third place. Good job, lily and Colin. Second place was Justin. Mighty effort. Good work, buddy. And then first, undefeated, because I think they had, they must have seen my list, was Gabby and Quinn. Yay! Good job. Okay. Good job. All right. Well, I'm glad to see all of you again today for our very last day of WOW. Wow. Uh, has everybody been enjoying wow you're all coming back so that's got to be a good sign right good oh you got your bag ready is it time to open the bag time to open the bag i think so i got my bag day four did you read the little note that was attached to it we'll need scissors you'll need scissors does everybody oh, have a pair of scissors these. with you? Oh, good job. Adele's got All scissors. Right. Luke's Excellent. got scissors. And as always, there's papers, questions and things you can do with your family, activity page, coloring paper. You set those aside. You could look at those during the week, help you remember what we've learned. Not very much in there today. There's, well, there's your verse tag. Do you have your clip to add to the verse tag? And there's a glow stick necklace Ooh. that you can use later tonight. Maybe you wanna go outside or just have it hanging in your room or something. And our craft is just these two pieces of paper. And did you get a little package of stickers today too? Yes, you did. You got a little package of stickers too. Just set those aside with your papers. We'll get to that when it's craft time. And can't have VBS without snacks. <gasps> Ooh, Oreos, Chips Ahoy. Everybody got, me. We got different ones. Okay, make sure that it's okay with mom and you can nibble on your snack while we're having, watching the video. Did you remember, do you remember that we went through the actions for the song last week? So I wanna see all of you singing along and doing the actions, okay? All right, we're ready.
from WOW. You all look very comfortable and sitting down and maybe a little zoned out because we've been watching the video. So I need you to all get up and stand up on your feet. Big stretch, big stretch. Come on, Justin, I see you. Stretch up and out. And we learned that God loves us so much, so give yourself a big hug. All right. Now we're going to do a little review from our four days of WOW BBS. If you know the word from day one, I want you to stand up. I can't tell if you're standing up. Luke does. I know Luke's, I can see Luke standing up. Word for day one. You're all going to have to unmute yourself. Courage. Who can remember the story that helped us to learn about courage that God gives us? Peter walking on water. That's right. Good job, Luke. You were listening and good remembering. And Peter, Peter needed a lot of courage to step out on that water, didn't he? And where did he get his courage from? Jesus. He got it from Jesus, absolutely. Does Jesus give us courage today? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Does anybody have anything that you needed Jesus to help you with, to give you courage in the past few weeks that we've been doing WOW VBS? Yeah? Gabby, do you want to tell us about it? I took your hands a curd. Do you have anything to say about the curd? That's okay. Sometimes we don't even really think about it. And then afterwards we think back on a situation and say, wow, Jesus, I'm really glad that you gave me courage in that. And I didn't even know I needed it. But we know that Jesus is there with us. Our verse from that day, who can remember the memory verse from that day that went along with the courage? You can even read it off your key tag if you'd really like to. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged for the Lord. Your God will be with you wherever you go. Excellent. Good job, Luke. Thank you for helping us. And I already oh. know the I, I already know the hope one. You already know the next one is hope. Yeah. Good. What kind of hope can we have that Jesus gives us? Hope in God. Hope in God. Okay. Is that hope like I hope it doesn't rain anymore today? No, it's the kind of hope that is a strong confidence because we know that God is prepared. Um, preparing the way in front of us. And we have hope if we have um, put our trust and belief in Jesus that we have a hope, a confidence of a forever home in heaven with him. Okay, yeah. so what was, the, what was the story that went with hope? So here's a hint. Remember how I just said that we have a hope of a forever home at um, we will live forever in heaven. The story was about somebody and their life. Paul? No. Oh, I think I know. Okay, which is, what is it? Was it like this guy was walk? This guy was going somewhere, and then something. Then he got very hurt or something. Oh, that's not the hope one. Hang on to oh. that, Little Adele. We'll come back to that. This man's name was Lazarus. Oh, what yeah. Lazarus. Um, so he got sick and died. And their, their, his sisters were really sad about it. 
And then Jesus came and they were like, if only you would come sooner, Lazarus would still be alive. And, and then they started crying and Jesus cried with them. And then eventually they went to his tomb and Jesus rolled up the stone and he said, Lazarus, come out. And Lazarus came out. You're right. Good job. And that, um, in that passage, Jesus says, I, I am the resurrection and the life. And he who believes in me shall never die, but shall have eternal life. Who can read the verse from our day talking about hope? Who can read it off of our card? I don't I don't need I don't need to read it. No, you don't need to read it? Oh, no. excellent, Luke. So tell us. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not grow faint. Excellent. Isaiah 43. Excellent. Excellent job, Luke. You're used to memorizing the verses for VBS. Mm -hmm. I think my first year of VBS, I might still have the card, for, the keychain for that. Good, good. It's always cool to be able to go back and look at those things and remember the lessons that we've learned. And you can do that with this keychain too. Mm -hmm. All right, last week, Adele, last week, we learned about, what was the word? Hope. Not hope. We just talked about hope. Um, 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 it begin um, with an H. It does. What was the game me and Sam played? Do you remember? What was he doing with me? I was help. I was doing. Oh help! <laughs> Gave it away. <laughs> and what was the story about Adele? Um, this guy was walking in the walking somewhere. Then he got sick or something, and then. A pastor came along and saw him and just walked past him. Then next I um another person walked by and saw him and didn't do anything. Then another guy came by and saw him and helped him. And paid his debts, I think. Good. Good remembering. And that was a good example of helping I know the, another. And we can, I know the full one. What what is the what is the name of the person? Where where was the person from? What's what do we call the title of this story, Luke? The Good Samaritan? That's right because the person who helped was a Samaritan, lived in Samaria. Excellent. And they weren't supposed to hang out. But they, they weren't? weren't? But he was the one who helped him, which was the surprising thing. And it's now it's real. I guess it's like a really popular verse. Like I hear, I hear it a lot. Mm -hmm. There's even a VeggieTales episode on it. <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> You're but right. VeggieTales was awesome. <laughs> it still is. Yeah. Okay, so what was I the hope. verse? What was the verse that reminded that reminds us about um, help? And and we know that in all things God works for the good for the good of those who love him and are called to their purpose. A called according to his purpose. That's right. And uh, that, Romans 8, 28. Excellent. Good job, Luke. That reminds us that God is always there to help us. But the story also reminds us that we can be ready to help others. 
Did anybody use their chalk from last time's bag to help to cheer somebody up by putting a message or a picture on your driveway? No, but I will do that today. Good. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, and that brings us to today. And today's word was? Love. Love. And how do we know that God loves us? Because, because he gave his son. Mm -hmm. What were you going to say, Adele? Because he, um, sorry, wait. Oh, because he died for us on the cross. You're right. You're right. He died for us on the cross. So what did that do when he died on the cross? Made our, he paid for our sins. You're right. That's right, Luke. Absolutely. And so today's key verse is from John chapter 3 verse 16 and it says that God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. John 3 verse 16. So Jesus paid for our sins on the cross but then we have, we have a part in that as well. Whoever does what? How do we get that eternal life? Whoever does what? Whoever believes. That's right. Whoever believes in God. That's right. If we believe in in Jesus that he died on the cross to pay for our sins that is how we will have eternal life for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life John 13 John 3 16 good job Luke do you know that in the Bible in the very next book after verse 16, or next verse, verse 17 says, for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. That means God didn't send Jesus to be the judge and to punish everybody, but he sent Jesus to die on the cross to save us from all that punishment. Jesus didn't come into the world to punish us, he came to save us because God loves us. Okay. Let's just take a minute and talk to Jesus. And then we will go on to the next things. Okay. So that's it. We'll fold our hands, close our eyes so we're not distracted and so you're listening. Lord Jesus, thank you that we could learn from your word. Thank you for coming to earth to die on the cross, to take the punishment for our sins. We believe in you. We trust you. We trust in your great, big, deep love. We know that you will never leave us. Help us to have love for others that is just as big and deep as yours. And help us to show others the courage the hope, the help, and the love that comes from you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. Well, Mr. Mike, is Mr. Sam around? Uh, I think Mr. Sam might still be working. But might still be working. Craft, maybe? We could go straight to the craft. That we can do. So you're going to get your two pieces of folded paper and watch the video for the instructions. This one is a little bit complicated, so you need a little extra patience today. Wow. Wow. Day four, can you believe it? This yeah, is the last days. day of WOW VBS. Wow. And you're back to do crafts with I me. I am back to do some crafts. I've got to do a few more crafts, can't wait. Yes. 
Well, today's word was that God gives us love. We have our hearts. That reminds us of love. And the Bible verse says that God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son because he loves us so very much. Well, because we're talking about love and hearts, we're going to make a heart. Whoa. Do you think you can do that, Mr. Sam? That, that looks amazing. That's crazy. Well, it's a little bit tricky, so you'll need a little bit of patience today. Maybe a bigger person to help you with some of the parts, but I am sure that you can do it. I am sure that you can do it, <laughs> Mr. Sam. If I can do it, then I think you can do it too. <laughs> so you have a white piece okay. and a red piece. You're going to fold it in half. All right. Right in half, nice and straight. Great, so I... So that both sides line up. I remember how to fold. There we go. You can do that to both of them. All right. So how does this piece and this piece end up into one piece? <laughs> that is the fun part. Wow. Okay. And then you're going to follow that curved line. Okay. And cut that part off. So I just cut around the curve. That's right. You don't have to be in a big rush. You can just take your time. There we go. And do I do the same to the red one as That's well? That's right. Okay. Cut in the curve. Cut in the curve. There we go. So have you enjoyed our week at well, not one week, it's been every week for four weeks. It has, it's been so like good. Like a whole month of wow. It's been wow amazing. I wish I could combine those two words together. <laughs> wow, wow amazing? Wow amazing, wow, amazing. Ooh, that's a great word. Wow amazing. Okay, no, you're gonna leave them folded. Leave them folded? Yeah. Okay. You wanna make sure that you can see the lines on the outside of your fold. So if you've accidentally folded it this way, that's Whoops. okay. <laughs> Turn it around so that yeah. you can see the lines. Okay. And you're going to cut just to the end of the line. Don't cut any further. So just to that point. Just to that point. Okay. And then On you gotta all stop. three lines. <laughs> all right. On both the red and the white. So what have you enjoyed about, wow, EPS? Well, I always enjoy doing crafts. Yeah. And I've really enjoyed the music mm -hmm. from the videos. I love music. Jana Alira is one of the musicians wow. and she, I've, I met her really? actually a long time ago. Wow. Probably a long time ago. <laughs> um, and I've enjoyed her music and taught her music at church oh. for a long, long time. So it was really fun to see her involved. That's amazing. And Yancey, I've just gotten to know lots of fun music and knowing that kids all over the world and kids connected with our KBC yeah. Zoom are worshiping God together. Those are my favorite parts. Awesome, that's incredible. All over the world. All over the world. Yeah. Okay, are we ready? Yes, I've cut my lines. In two. These. Little, okay, you, okay, so we're gonna work with both of them at the same time because we okay. have to weave them together. All right. So you're gonna open it up, open the okay. first little slit up, okay. and slide the first slit of red inside. This craft you have to do in little bits and pieces, one little oh. steps at a time. So I like to go over the first red one and then in the middle of the second red one. Oops, see I fell apart. <laughs> so it is a little through. tricky. Remember your patience. Ah, okay. So 
outside of one and inside of the next one. And then inside the next one. But you're going to start from the outside. Okay. And it's best if you don't get too far. And then you're going to take that same white one. Yep. And open up the next red one. Oh, okay. And put it inside. Oh, wow. Okay. Tricky. I see. Tricky. Wow, okay. Okay, now you're going to take the next white one. Yep. And you're going to go inside the first red one. So you go inside. Ah, oh, okay, yes. So you go inside that one. Sometimes it looks like it's coming apart, but that's all right. It can slide around a little bit and yep. it will all come out in and the end. And then you go over. So, yeah. Oh. So you're going to open, you have to open the white one up for the red one to go in. And just tuck those other two out of the way for the time being. Oh, okay. You don't want to try to force it too much because then you might rip it. Yeah. So you open up that white one and then slot it in this guy? Yep. Cool. Now you're going to have to tuck your top white one back into the red. Back into this red guy here. Yeah. Oh, okay. The second one, not the third. Oh, okay. the second one. Gotcha. Nice. And then just wiggle it along as you go. Wiggle the white a little bit further along. Mm -hmm. Just gently. And then you're going to do backwards again. Red inside of white. One strand at a time. One strand at a time. Take your time and you sing some of the wow songs. <laughs> Maybe the wow theme song wasn't that one fun? Oh my goodness, such a good song! And remember that our wow theme verse is that I can do all things because Christ gives me strength. I can do all things, that's a great reminder. You can even do tricky crafts. That's <laughs> Even tricky crap, tricky crafts. <laughs> so we can use our heart to show love to somebody else. Oh well. And remember, or maybe even share with them how Jesus loves you or loves them. Oh, so you can share Jesus' love with someone else from your heart. That's right. Wow, great. And with your heart that you're making. Because Oh, with your heart and the heart that you're making. Exactly. Oh, okay. <laughs> because in a minute you will see how this will make a little heart that you can give away. That's the nice thing about this one. If you're careful, you don't want to get in too big of a hurry or you might rip the paper. And I'm afraid I can't run over to your house and bring you another one. <laughs> that would be a long run. <laughs> it would be. Depending on where you live, of course. True. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like it's going to get stuck and it's going to rip, but you just have to keep working at it. Keep going. And remember that I can do all, all things, things because, because Christ, Christ gives, gives me the strength. strength. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Good job. And now right. you can open it up. I can open it. And it makes a nice little basket. Now maybe you have a piece of ribbon or something if you wanted to put a little handle on it to, to yeah. give to somebody. But you could, that could put be a nice gift. Maybe somebody's favorite candies in there. Yeah. If you're really careful. You could put some peanut butter cups. Oh, are those your favorite? Those are my favorite. Mystery Not everybody pack. can have peanut butter cups. That's true. That's but true. so you'd want to make sure. Yeah. That if you're giving it to a friend, that they're not allergic or anything. 
if you open the bo if you pull those two bottom pieces apart a little bit, you yeah. can actually tuck a lollipop in there and let the stick hang out the bottom. <laughs> That's, That's great. fun too. Or you could just write some notes and say, God loves you. Just write them just in the middle. Oh, yeah. you could. Or you could write notes on a piece of paper and tuck them in. You're great. I like you. God loves you. Whatever you would like. And then you can use this to show God's love to somebody else. That is an amazing idea. Thank you so much for teaching me that craft, Mr. You're Dan. very welcome. Thanks for coming to do crafts with me this Thank week, you. Mr. Sam. It's been great. <laughs> so you can use the stickers to decorate the heart or your face as Adele is doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how are those hearts going? Let's see the, how you doing, Justin? So today, obviously this week, guys, we learned about God's love, and we heard the Bible verse, which was John three sixteen. So, in order to remind us of uh, God's love, um, I want to do this in the popular game, which you guys probably already know, called hide and seek. So, I want this to help us um, to remind us that. God's love's just like the seeker. So even though we are hiding, and even though we're doing um, wherever we are in our lives, we may not know God. We may we may be rebelling against Him, um, as we saw in the video today. God is always pursuing us. He's the He's the man's um, father. We learned about the prodigal son today, and God is like the the man's father, always looking at the horizon, always looking out for the son to approach. To return to him and god will always take us back um because he is love so i didn't so me and sam were meant to play hide and seek to demonstrate that and i think you guys know how to play hide and seek anyway um i was planning on how, planning on showing you guys that by like showing uh by trying to hide the object from the other person so you can always have a variation of that maybe instead of hide and seek with a person you can try and hide an object and the other person has to has to find it you maybe you can give them clues, like when they're getting closer. I don't know if you ever played like hotter and warmer. Sorry, hot, hotter or colder. Um, it's a game we used to play a lot. Um, but yeah, have some fun. Maybe you can do it with the, the boat. Make sure you stay safe, guys. I don't want anyone sort of jumping into pools that are meant to be with, with, without parental supervision. <laughs> without parents there. Okay. All right, Ruthann. Good. Well, I'm done. You're done decorating yourself. <laughs> Good job, Adele. Actually, send a photo into the group and the Facebook group, Adele. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want to know what you have liked about Wow VBS. Who's going to tell us first? Adele. The crafts. You like doing the crafts? Good. Robin, or Alina, what did you like about the, the Every, uh, everything? Everything. work. The videos are super, super long. But they were fun? Were they fun videos? Luke, what was your favorite thing, guys? How about you guys, Just or Luke? What was your favorite thing, guys? thing about Brow VBS was probably doing the memory verses and the crafts. Good. You guys like watching me and Sam compete in all the games? Yep. I think I lost mm -hmm. a couple times. I actually fell. Do you guys remember that first week? <laughs> Gotta be careful. The slippery, slippery wooden floors. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I, know. I thought it was funny as well. What about the music? Did anybody enjoy the music? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I especially enjoyed it today because that was Jana that was doing the songs. How many of you have done any of the activities on the family bingo? 
I know Peyton was doing it. She sent me some pictures. Um, we did the picnic. Mm -hmm. I think that's all. That's all. I saw a picture of a bike ride. Oh, yeah. And chalk drawings. Yeah. That was good. If you fill the whole page with the activities, then you can send me a picture of it. Be Am I problem. the only one who's still doing their art? <laughs> Justin's I don't know. working pretty hard. Where is he? Justin's working on something. Oh, Ooh, you're almost there. Yeah, you're getting there, Luke. Good job. It does Thanks. take patience. <laughs> How did yours turn out, Peyton? Very nice. Oh, good job. It opens up. Good. You uh, figured it out. Excellent. Great work. Good job. You help Gabby and Quinn as well? How are they doing? They had theirs done quite a Ooh, bit nice earlier. Job. And some stickers to make it pretty. And Lillian, Colin, how are you doing? Very nice. Oh, that's a lot of stickers. Work. That is a lot of stickers. I just have one more, yeah. I already did my feet. You used all of your stickers, Colin? Uh, you should get more to the other side. <laughs> not, not, not that one. Okay. Good. Let's just to finish off our time together, let's review the um, the theme verse, and then maybe, Mr. Mike, if you could find the um, theme song video. Sure. And then we'll just play that while you're getting your mom, mom or dad or whoever to come and sign you off. Okay? So we're going to say the theme verse together. I'm going to talk to Jesus one more time, and then we'll... Um, Sign off while we're listening to the, the theme song again, just so that you keep that in your mind. So the theme verse was from Philippians 4, verse 13. I can do all, all things, things because mm -hmm. Christ gives me the yes, strength. Right. Philippians, Philippians 4, 13. 4, 13. Excellent. Very good. Let's talk to God. God, I thank you for WOW VBS. I thank you for each one of these boys and girls that came to join us, that we could learn together and have fun together, even though we are on screens. Thank you for the technology that has allowed us to do this. And thank you for Mr. Mike and Ms. Colleen and Ms. Liz and Mr. Sam, and the way that we were all able to work together to make this um, these times together happen. I pray that you will help us to remember how you give us courage, you give us hope, you help us and you love us so very much. Help us to be able to show that to other people as we go on throughout our days. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Okay, so while we're listening to the theme song, then you can get mom or dad to come and say farewell. Okay, thanks, guys.